Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Salem. And tonight our question comes to us from Sparrow, who asks my opinion and advice for people who have to have secret altars. That is to say, for people whose living situation is such that they cannot have an open or obvious altar. And my advice for this situation unfolds in a couple of different stages. And let me begin by saying that an altar exists to help us to focus. It exists to help us to focus in meditation. It exists to help us to focus in worship. It exists to help us to focus in magic. But it is only there to help in that focus. Because truly these things happen within ourselves. And that is also where our true altar is. The true altar exists at the point where we connect with spirit. And as such, having an external altar, although nice and for many people very helpful, is absolutely not necessary. So if your living situation does not allow you to have an altar, you really don't have to have an altar. Your real altar is within. Now having said that, if you want an external altar, because they can be very helpful, it absolutely does not have to be obvious. An altar can be as simple as a cleared space on your dresser, a place that will help you to focus on what it is you wish to do. Uh, very commonly, there'll be a candle, uh, and that is probably the thing that is most common to altars, but having a candle on your dresser does not necessarily signal altar to anyone who doesn't understand that principle. Uh, many people have candles just for atmosphere, or for the scent, uh, or for any of a number of reasons. Uh, so, you could have the, have the candle on the altar, but no one would necessarily know that it is an altar if that's all that's there. In addition, you might have photos of your ancestors. This, too, does not signal altar to anyone who doesn't know what an altar actually is. You might have symbols of God and Goddess. For example, a seashell could represent Goddess, a pine cone could represent God. No one would think twice about these things if you were in a situation where you could not have an obvious altar. Uh, similarly, if you work with your spirit guides, you might have things that represent them, which would also not necessarily mean anything to anyone who did not know what they represented. So, again, an altar need not be something that's obviously such. So, I guess that's my advice, that first, you don't really have to have one, and second, if you're going to, it need not be obvious. Now, it's lovely to have a very large, elaborate altar with all the tools and the trappings and everything else, and I certainly have one, uh, but um, when I do my devotions, I don't necessarily feel the need to go to the altar. And whether you have a physical altar or not does not change that connection to spirit which is inside you, which is where this work is truly done, regardless of whatever may be outside. So that's my answer to your question. I hope that it helps. And until next time, may you blessed be. But wait, don't forget our books, Witch School First, Second, and Third Degree, and also Living the Wicked Life, and Ritual in Theory and Practice, available at a bookstore near you, or get them direct from us at www.witchschoolstore.com.